Now, a health kick is a good thing, of course, uh, but can going on a diet in itself be dangerous? Because in some instances, people say, doctors say, that it can be. And, and I would agree with them. I think it's, uh, I think it's twofold. I think diets really for me is the word die with the T on the end of it. And, and the, the problem is that you set yourself up for failure. Yeah. And they're not sustainable. Plus, they're not taking into account many other factors, which is you need to be physical. If you want to lose weight, it's not just about not eating and restricting your, your calorie intake, but it is also about moving your body. It's about sweating. It's about burning up. Mm. The, the extra pounds that you're, that you're carrying. But I think also these fad diets are, are exactly that. They're a fad. One minute, you know, you're supposed to be on the, on the green tea diet, then yeah. it's the Miami diet, then it's, you know, this diet, that diet, the paleo diet. And, and they're not taking into account the full nutritional value of what you need uh, yeah. in order to eat. You know, because we're not just eating for one. You know, inside of us, it's all about our gut microbes mm -hmm. and and what is really important is that we we share our body with 40,000 parasites 5 million species of fungi and 300,000 species of parasites how do you just know that off the top of your head because i'm a nerd when it comes to you know when it comes that's to incredible. nutrition and health and that's because you know i did I, you know, I had anorexia when I was, you know, when I was 15, and there were a lot of reasons for that, but partly because I was a male dancer surrounded by ballerinas who all had eating disorders, who were all eating tissue paper and crying. And so I had a very... But they are an extreme. And mm. that's what, I'm, that's yes. what I was going to get to. I, yeah. was, I was in an extreme environment where we were being weighed in, where it was about the way that you looked. You had to have a certain sinewy sort of yeah. um, a, a so aesthetic. Dark, isn't yeah. it? But you, you both but come from a dark background. Yeah, we background. come from a similar background, but for the general person, it is also, you can't out-train a bad diet. That's also a fact. You can't. If you're taking in so many calories and then thinking, oh, I'll go and do an hour on the treadmill, it's not, it's going to help, of course. I believe in exercise is very important. Mm. But there's a lot of people out there that are obese, that they're dangerously overweight. Well, mm. then you do have to look at going on a diet mm. and what, what counting your calories and seeing how many calories you're taking in a day. I agree with the fad diet. But diets. we're talking about fad diets. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very different. Also, I thought to... we were talking about dieting. Just, our just diets in either general. or. I mean, obviously, there's there's that, and there's also dieting in general. And you you've said yourself that you'd put a bit of weight on after leaving Strictly. Yeah, five and... years I wasn't on Strictly. Yeah. I went up to 95 kilos, 15 stone. Gosh. Wow. And then I thought when I uh, got asked to do dancing on ice, I looked in the mirror and I thought, really, do I want to go on like that? Well, mm. not really. So. So is if... it more aesthetics for you then? Because did you feel well? I. <sighs> You, you kind of get yourself in a bit of a lull where um, you start eat, I was eating whatever I wanted, takeaways, drinking more, um, enjoying life, really, um, a lot more than I ever did. Um, and not exercising as much. Life. To enjoy life, we, start, thing, we sort of yeah. eat badly, we, we overindulge in things that aren't necessarily Maybe good. Maybe that's because why... Because everything but... that isn't good for you tastes so good, doesn't it? <laughs> well, there are oh, some nice things that are healthy. Yeah. But I suppose that maybe that's why the word diet is, is starting to become a bit of a... And not a nice word. But for me, is it easier to say lifestyle changes, making different choices, instead of a diet just feels like you're restricting banning. yourself? It's a fact. It's a diet, isn't it? It's been around... For, there's nothing wrong with saying, I need to go on a diet. You're kind of saying it yourself. I don't see why... But isn't it about I, I, changing I, I don't, your it's lifestyle? It's about a lifestyle choice. Yeah. It's about lifestyle changes. And, and everything you know, is and a diet, whether it's a healthy diet, exactly. a bad diet, a mediocre diet. Yeah. A diet's yeah. just a word. Yeah. And I think That's the connotation I, yeah, I to that word is negative. I think people see it as something that is, is restricting yourself yeah. or denying yourself of things. And actually, what you've got to start looking at it and changing people's perception is it's about making sure that you're healthy and that you're living a healthier yeah. life for your own well-being. I agree with that, but I love Indian takeaways, Chinese takeaways, 
fast food. I, I like eating. I like chocolates. I like crisps. I like things like that. But when right. I and you'll also stuff... like the heart attack that's going to come with it yeah. because you're a man. And once you get into your fifties, I agree. You have a hundred percent. But there's a lot of people things. that do enjoy eating those things and get enjoyment out of it. And there's nothing wrong with no, that. No, I do love it. But it's curry. about moderation. Absolutely. And educating exactly. yourself how many exactly. calories you're taking in and can it be a treat? It doesn't mean you have to give it up hundred percent. So what do you balance these Indians and things with? What do you balance I just, that out with, James? I mean, the only re I lost. 10 kilos in three months, which is quite quick mm. as well. But that was through to going back to the gym, training more, and watching how many calories I was taking. And because so it was the two together. It was the two exactly. together. It's not just eat nothing. And do you, you know, feel better? I feel healthy. I feel more mm. agile as well. You were saying earlier oh, yeah. as well that um, when, when you're... Sm I don't know, you just feel more alive. Yeah. And when you go to the gym, it releases endorphins in your body. Yeah. Look, I leave the gym actually feeling better. But for me, it was the hardest thing was actually getting to the gym. And what's interesting is you're, you're an adult man who is, is clearly in tune with what his body needs because that's your profession. So you're, you're in tune with, with your diet, if you want to call it that. But a lot of our food choices are sort of instilled in us as children. And there's, yes. there's horrifying evidence out there. Apparently, one in five children are obese by the time they leave primary school. Mm -hmm. So their food choices and food decisions are being ingrained in them in a very young age, and they're, they're bad food choices. But there's only one person to blame for that, and that's the parents, because children that's, that's don't go out and earn money, don't pay for the food themselves. Their parents are allowing them to eat that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bigger thing that those children will go to school, and then they're going to get bullied on top of that. Because mm. whatever, whatever way you look at it, people. Anti-bullying is massive now, which yeah. I'm all for, but you're not going to stop children saying nasty things to other children. You're never going to stop that. Mm. But what you can stop is you can stop your child being bullied if they're fat. And it is... A, I know it's not a it's nice really word... It's really hard, but, isn't it? Because... You're in charge. It's, you it's... are. Uh, but then, if I look at it in, in the way that, yes, absolutely, parents have to take responsibility for their children's health. If your child is obese, and it's not down to medical problems, because there are a lot of cases where there, there it is rarely. not in their control. Well, it's there rarely. are, yeah. but there Very are. Rarely. Um, so to, to take them out of the mix. If you are allowing your child to be obese and have health problems, and you know, it's not, it can't be a decision that's made because you want to hurt your child. It must be out of un misguided love. Yeah, and maybe someone needs to. Educate and help the educate parents. Educate the parents, exactly. But, yeah, I agree, 100%. No. Like, I, I know at some schools now, they've actually started to weigh children. Mm. Is that a bit excessive? Possibly, because you're embarrassing them in front yeah. of the rest of the yeah, people. I, I think that's a lot. Um, but some, some measures need to be taken somewhere, or they need to start doing more sports... Uh, stuff or at even school, cooking lessons or in cooking primary lessons. school. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Or it's, it's about teaching. practical knowledge and understanding yeah. of nutrition and how it plays such an important role mm. in your well-being and your health and also your mental health. Yeah. Because what we put in, you are what you eat. Yes, yeah. You know, and if you are going to continually eat takeaways, fast foods, and these are things that I know a lot of people see as affordable. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. the other issue. It does. It is yeah. in order to eat yeah. healthy... It costs a fortune, yeah. and yeah. that's wrong. It is I wrong. I think that is absolutely crime. I think it comes down to, to two things, cost and habit. You yes. form healthy habits, then you're on a, on a good path, but, of course, it comes down to cost as well.